a lot of people ask me what are the skill sets for which the companies today are ready to pay a lot of money i did not have a straight answer to that so i ran a poll on linkedin i'll share the results with you but before i do that i request you to subscribe to the channel if you have not done it already and also press the bell icon for all notifications survey poll is still going on but here are the current statistics as you can see the topmost is data science and ai ml followed by cloud computing which is followed by java and microservices but interestingly if you go to the comments you can see a lot of people coming over there and telling that pega is also one of the highest paid skills as of september 2021 now what should you do with this information should you jump from one skill set to another skill set should you say that hey i am in java microservices but because data science and machine learning and artificial intelligence is probably leading so should i jump from java to data science the answer is no you should not be driven by what is happening in the market or what is public opinion about salary packages what you should focus on is what is your strength what is your core skill and what is happening with respect to that particular skill set because if you look at it some of these skill sets were not even existing 10 15 years ago there was no data science being talked about heavily 10 15 years ago cloud computing was also very new 10 15 years ago when i was a student artificial intelligence was mostly existing in textbooks so most of these skill sets have picked up in the last 10 to 15 years and more so in the last 5 years so that is why it is not wise to jump from one skill set to another what is wise is to look at your current skill set look at your current experience and then see how you can reskill yourself in the closest matching skill set segment okay what i mean is if you are coming from oracle background if you are a sql developer or a pl sql developer okay if you have a knack of back end technology if you have a good handle over back end technology if you are good at data then probably it makes sense for you to explore data science so that is a logical move you know then it does not make sense for you to learn cloud computing so in summary what i want to tell you is plan for the future but think before you make any drastic changes with respect to your skill set i'm sure you have heard of that famous story of a tortoise and a rabbit getting into a race and famously people tell that the moral of the story is is the slow and steady wins the race and you know people have given different versions of it saying that if the rabbit had not slept then probably the tortoise would never win so slow and steady never wins any race fast and steady wins the race but my point is completely different what i want to tell you is if you are a tortoise why do you want to get into a race with a rabbit or if you are a rabbit why do you want to get into a race with a tortoise so it is very clear that you should explore your strength and explore your capabilities you should avoid doing something very random which will not make sense to you or which will not yield you benefits in the long run i hope you enjoyed this video do subscribe to the channel if you have not done it already and share it with your friends i'll see you next week till then take care bye bye